Good morning, good afternoon, and uh, good day, folks. All We've got people here all over the world. And uh, it's a market that many people came into, and some people uh, have just came into this market in maybe the last week, Never have never heard of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And uh, it may sound impossible for some of us, but I tell you what, there are still people that have not heard about Bitcoin. It's exactly the same as what happened in the dot-com bubble. If you look at uh, what happened with Apple, Microsoft. Uh, if we go back to 1999, uh, we had Apple that brought out a whole bunch of products, but they only had 3% of the market. Now think about that. Apple brings out a product, only 3% of the world population knows it. And I'm specifically talking about the iPod. Apple then went and opened it for the world. Their business boomed. They now a trillion dollar company. Now just think back for a second. If we, if we look at Bitcoin before I get into this report here quickly, and I'm going, going to go through this report, the one that we released yesterday, just really quickly, but I'll do that shortly. But let's just quickly go and have a look at the Apple chart. So on the screen now, what you should see is the, is the price chart for Apple. Very, very small. If you look at the left bottom side, now look at that. It looks like we are running a straight path and then we get like a blip there and another blip there. Now let's zoom in, for example, in, and I'll go a little bit slow so that people can just all over the world uh, just see the images. So we're going to zoom into that little area there now. And remember, this kind of information, guys, is not something that we're going to present to every, anybody. You know, this is only for our members. It's not something that we make public. And, you know, this kind of information is stuff that we want to keep for ourselves. And don't post it also out on social media. Uh, we've literally stopped making these videos public anymore. Now, now remember, this is, there we go, 1999, the dot-com bubble. Now have a look at that little picture there and let's go back Randy to uh, 17 November. We basically said that we recommend that when the market hits 5596 or 5443, this is how you get out. And we gave the stages of where you sell, you sell there, you sell there because the market was heading downwards. Now what we say here on top is if you have taken advantage of the exit plan on 17 November, then it's good. If you did not sell, we sell there at the top. We bought back here on the bottom. And if you go back to our reports, we literally almost called every single high and every single low. When we came here to the end point here, specifically my buy-in price of Bitcoin is extremely low. For example, right. we bought here on the bottom, we sold in the high there. So I sit with massive profits. Then we bought back here on the bottom and we sold in the high. Now, when I started selling here at 5,000, which we, which is in our reports, the recommendation here that where it says here, exit plan is very simple. We sell year, year, year. And so I, I was already in profit when I did that. But we need to understand there's a whole bunch of people that are not in profit. My recommendation is, if we are going to head upwards into the levels of this one year, okay, whether you sold year- your, your screen is trailing. Your screen is trailing about three seconds, three or four seconds there. Okay, awesome. So you should see Just the two, two green arrows now? We see those now, yeah. So my recommendation is, let's say, even if you sold, even if you bought, let's say, a year, and that figure is six and a half thousand, I would still, when we get here to the $5,000 mark, look out for my reports. I will address that in a very good paragraph. And I'll make it clear and I'll say, whether you bought at six and a half, we recommend that if you did, that you sell a certain percentage at that level. Because remember this, if the market then drops all the way another, let's say 60%, and you sell maybe uh, 25%. So let's say if you work with $1,000 and you sold 25%, you've got $250 here on the bottom where you then can buy back again. And you, you increase the amount of Bitcoin you have or any other crypto that you have. But look, guys, my last comment here is just, Look at Apple again. Imagine that being 20,000 Bitcoin, where my mouse is now, okay? And imagine that being the dot-com bubble. Now, don't fear, don't get scared. Give yourself 
three to six months. Thank you for watching this short video. If you want full access to this video, please go to my website at www.mariaslandman.com and click on Get Membership. This information is extremely vital and could potentially save you thousands and thousands of dollars.